think it's sad. So it's been all over the media. Basically, numerous accidents has occurred, either as a result or directly related to people playing this new game, Pokemon Go. And、uh, there are like car accidents, which driver was playing a game while driving. There are teams that lure people into robbery using the game, and people enter private properties to get some certain rare Pokemon. I, I I guess. So let's talk about that. First,、um, I'd like to give some background on how the game is played. Basically, you go to a place in real life called Pokestops, and you get reward for doing so. In addition to that, Pokemon Go features randomly placed Pokemon in the world, so they are basically generated, which you can catch, and they sometimes spawn inside weird places. To be fair, you don't need to be exactly on the spot to catch them. For example, if it's in people's backyard, it can be still reached outside. At first, I really wanted to find out what's the problem with the game. Like, is there something we could fix so people wouldn't be caught into the accident? But then I was like, no. If people text and drive, we don't blame on car or driving. If people have been stabbed to death, which is sad, but we don't blame the kitchen knife. But then I thought, wait a second. We do take great care with things like cars and knives. You need a license to drive. But is Pokemon Go a good thing like cars and knives? I think the answer is yes, because Pokemon Go made people play outside. Isn't that what parents always wanted? Like to have their kids play outside in the real world, in the nature, meet real people while playing, right? And people learn stuff too because the Poké stuff they place in real life locations are interesting things. For example, a sculpture on the street corner that you walk by every day, but you never notice what it's about. You never bother to read the plaque or anything. So this is what I conclude with: Pokémon Go or games like it is a new thing that we need to learn how to do. We don't stop kids from playing soccer because they get injured. We don't ban soccer either. We teach them how to avoid injuries. We teach them how to play it safe. For Pokemon Go, I think we should teach people to be careful to their surroundings while playing. Like they, and people should know when to let go and not entering private properties, etc. One last thing. Apparently, there has been fake news going around. Link in here or down in the doobly doo. So be careful out there, okay? And thanks for watching this video and DFTBA.